The uh, easiest way for me to remember voltage drop is two kids on the block. Y'all remember that old, uh, two, uh, was it two kids? What is it? New kids? New kids. New kids on the block. There you go. That's two kids on a block, okay? Two kid over circular mills. Easiest way to remember it. Sometimes you'll see that as two K I L. This L meaning length or D for distance. Either way, we're talking about distance in feet, okay? And what we mean by that is if you had a load center here for your breakers and you had the load way over here, that distance from here to there and back again in feet is what we're talking about. This two right here two. represents that direction and this direction. That D right there represents this distance. The I, of course, stands for impacity, right? So you could write it as 2KAL or 2KAD, but two kids over the block, or two kids on the block is, a, is kind of a memory thing I use to try to get guys to keep that in mind. Now, this K value right here is a constant value. It's a given. We have a value depending on the type of metal the conductor is made out of. And that is 12.9 for copper and 21.2 for aluminum. Okay? You can just write those two values down somewhere in your book. If you look on uh, table 8 back in chapter 9, way back in the back, 12.9. 12.9. If you look on page 681, you can write those values at the bottom of that table and kind of help tie that together because this is the table we'll use to find our circular mills anyway. Uh, it's a uh, chapter nine, table eight, page six eighty one. That's that table we looked at earlier that had the circular mills as all as well as the uh, ohms per thousand feet. Sometimes guys ask me where these values here come from, and I had one guy say, "Well, it comes from the ugliest guy." <laughs> And it's true, you can find that in Douglas guys. But the answer to that is if you were to take any one of these wire size circular mill values here and the ohms per 1,000 feet, that ratio of 12.9 will always be true throughout that whole table. Because as the wire size goes up, the resistance uh, follows as well. So you always have this ratio of 12.9 of size to ohms per 1,000 feet. Okay? So that's where those values come from. 12.9 is for copper, right? That's right. 12.9 is for copper and 21.2 is for aluminum.